The demo that we've got going on here is an electrolysis process. We have two moles of potassium iodide, and what we're going to do is just press it. There we go. Not a chemical that is too much of a concern from a safety perspective. Uh, actually, you can buy it in pill form, and it was actually sold quite prolifically uh, at the end of the Fukushima disaster uh, a few years ago. But anyway, it's there. So I'm just making up effectively a two mole per liter potassium iodide solution. I'm going to add a little bit of phenolphthalein indicator. This isn't like a titration, so I don't need to be precise in how much I add. And we're going to let that dissolve. And it's just a matter of figuring out what the reduction potentials are of all of them and picking the couple that's going to give you the smallest. Alternatively, we can go over here and actually just do the experiment. So I've got the solution now. I'm going to fill up my little YouTube. So there I've got, it's slightly yellow because a little bit of oxidation of, of the iodide. These are two graphite rods that I'm using as electrodes. They are both inert electrodes. They don't take part in the chemistry. They're just there to pass current. So all we're gonna do now is just turn it on and apply an electrical potential. And what you should see happening- on it from here. And then I can probably do this again. And what you can see happening off of one of the electrodes, it's a little foggy in the video, but in reality what's happening is that there's a lot of bubbles being formed. So there's gas being produced there. On the other one, you can see down here that there's this sludge that's actually drawing off the bottom of the electrode. Um, and that sludge is brown in color. So what most likely is being formed there? I minus is what we start with. I2. This is I2 that's being formed there. So basically, and now look at the coloration over here. Whoa. Right? We have a pink color being formed there. That was the acid base indicator indicating that we've got a, um, a basic solution now being formed. So off of the one electrode, we've got a gas bubbling off and a basic solution being formed. Off of the other one, we've got uh, a brown iodine solid being formed as it goes down. So just going to zoom this out just a tiny bit. Just try not to move it. You can see the entire cell set up in the region right there. So, what's actually occurring? On one of the cells, we clearly have I minus reacting to produce I2, and that would be with plus two electrons. The cell potential for that reaction is 0.536. Right there. And on the other cell, we have something producing a gas. Well, the only thing in this list that will produce a gas in a basic solution is that uh, water, water reacting to produce hydrogen gas plus a basic solution, plus two electrons reacts to produce two OH minus plus H2 as a gas. The cell potential for that one is negative 0.828 volts. It's actually number of electrons are balanced. So electrons cancel, that's the only thing that's going to cancel out of this. And we're left with two water plus I must two over there. Reacting to produce I2 solid plus 2 OH minus plus hydrogen that's coming off as a gas. The cell potential should be something around negative 0.828. 
1.364 volts.